big truck caused a lot of damage as it tried to squeeze through a small neighborhood. And its driver is accused of assaulting a man who lives there. Police say that the driver got lost. His big rig dug up yards, took out stop signs as he tried to navigate those tight streets. And when confronted, police say the driver grabbed a guy by the throat and then took off. David Highfield is live with more. David. Susan and Ken, that's right. The uh, man I interviewed tonight says the truck driver got out of the big rig and grabbed him by the throat and pushed him. These photos posted by police show the damage they say happened when a big rig driver apparently got lost in a residential section of Crescent Township late last night. Stop signs and street signs knocked to the ground. Jeremiah Hall says he encountered the driver when he went outside to check on the dog. He happens to be deaf, so his mother helped us with this interview over FaceTime. I had no idea he was talking, and then he... Um Got, he pushed me and uh, grabbed me about my throat, and then I got mad, and I got in my car and I was going to follow him, and I thought, I better not, so I turned around and came back home. This mailbox that was plowed over belongs to Shirley LaRocca, who came outside when she heard a loud racket. And the stop sign smashed. I mean, it's laying down on the ground, and I'm like, oh, my God, what happened? He said, he's telling me about this truck. This truck's over here backing up, and he approached him. He said, the guy jumped out and grabbed him by his neck like this and threw him in my bush. And I'm like, oh, my God. Police posted on Facebook that they've tracked down the company and the driver, and charges are now pending. Hall says this has happened before, their fence recently being damaged by another lost big rig. His husband questions why the driver this time got so irritated with Hall. They assume he didn't realize he's deaf. I don't understand why he got angry at Jeremiah. You know? I, 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 you know, he was just coming to help. There was no reason to get mad. Now, police say that the uh, truck driver's company has agreed to provide video footage of what happened. The driver is reportedly heading to the company's terminal in Kentucky right now, and police posted on Facebook that the township is now ordering signs to try to keep trucks out of that neighborhood. Now, I can tell you, I've done stories before where trucks have gotten into residential neighborhoods down very narrow streets because they were following GPS. We don't know whether that was the case last night. We're live tonight. David Highfield, KDKA TV News.